So we're going to start here in a place we don't normally start, the bathroom. We're going to look look around this uh, room. I uh, absolutely love this vanity. Love the, uh, the, the circle vibes going. They also have this little smaller like makeup vanity here, which is, which is pretty cool. Uh, and you can unplug it and move it somewhere else if you wanted to. But uh, you see what they've got here. Got some towels and things down below. And this is a very, this room is very spacious. Um, you have a, a dance party over here in the corner. Like that's how much space you've got in this bathroom. It's kind of, kind of crazy. Um, towel rack here. Now look at this shower. I don't know if this is really coming across just how massive this thing is here let me let me show it to you a different way all right so i wanted to show you just how massive this shower is like i'm standing in it i could walk around i could do laps in here if i wanted to it's 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 massive it's got this uh, rainfall uh shower head it's got a sprayer but i wanted to show you I, I felt like it was important to show you just the massive size of this shower all right let's go on all right, so this little wet bar is really cool. Um, one, they've got some boxed water here for you. They've got, of course, a little ice bucket. They've got uh, your traditional glasses. This little ball, light up light ball. And look at this, look at this. I was like, why is there a bowl here with a fork? That's weird. No, it's not weird. It's awesome because they put fruit in my room. K-cup machine with K-cups. Um, so that's nice. You can make coffee in the morning right here in your room they've got uh, some extra like here the pool towels here an extra comforter um, here's your safe and look at this little mini fridge it's kind of wobbly gotta be smarter than the mini fridge well it's nice very nice moving on to the rest of the room uh, we've got a little bench here with some uh, some drawers another seating area uh, here you can see the the bedroom area. You see, like they didn't go heavy on the retro stuff, which I'm I'm cool with. I'm I'm not a big retro guy, but um, they've just got little touches here and there, the little designs on the pillows and um, the little pictures. Uh, in the nice stands, though, you can see that they didn't go. Oh, I like that pen. That might be coming home with me. Um, in the nice stand, though. You've got this uh, old school looking telephone, but uh, two regular outlets, two USB, very nice. Some more of the art there. And a little seating area over here, and then this little retro looking uh, radio. That's pretty nice. And then of course on this side they also have two plugs and two USB, so super nice. They've got. Uh, these little lamps at the uh, head of the bed there. Okay, let's look. A little fuzzy, but nothing dirty. Looks pretty clean. Pillowcases are interesting. They seem very clean. Just a little not real smooth, it's just a little rough, but looks good. So one interesting thing, and I don't know if this is something that will stay this way, but as of right now, because of the way that the, the door is situated, um, when they did the construction, they didn't put the, the, the right knobs on these doors. So as of right now, you have access to a whole nother room. Now they kind of sell them as three bed, like sweet uh, but you can rent the room and I got access to this I don't think I paid anything extra for it um, I paid this is a uh, fe February a Saturday and I paid uh, with tax um, just under 90 bucks so um, a whole nother room here so you could bring an entire family the way that they have it set up right now um, a whole nother wet bar everything uh, this one instead of the um, oh they got their little logo stitch right on the sheet there but uh, this one is 
two two beds in in, in this one versus the the king in the other and this one has a more traditional style um, one person shower so it is definitely smaller than the other one but so they two different room types uh, all together all right let's look at the property So the location of this hotel, we can see here's the hotel right here. Here's where you pull in to get back to the um, parking area. Right across the streets, Alcatraz East and the entrance to the island. Now unfortunately, there isn't like a light on this side that you could go straight across at. That would be phenomenal if that were the case. So to actually get to the island, you're going to have to turn right out of here, get over into the left lane find a place to turn around and come back or if you're brave enough and I've seen plenty of people doing it tonight there are walkways right here that will take you all the way across and you can walk over to the island okay so here's the pool area they do have cabanas plenty of little loungers lots of seating they've got some fire pits that you can sit around at, at night assume the water is heated otherwise they wouldn't probably have the pool open but we'll check it oh it is not <laughs> that is ice cold it's nice that they have the water in there I suppose for a warmer day but check these out so they've got three four of these Little, little cabana pods. I assume these ones have their own little, yeah, they got space heaters in here you can turn on to warm up. Somebody had said these are first come, first serve, but this is really cool. It's a little area to hang out in, and they're perfect this time of year with the, with the space heater to be able to chill in, but all of them have lights on top as well as different little seating arrangements. See, this one's a little bit different than the last one. It's got a couch and some chairs. And these ones are kind of set up the same way. Now, I'm not going to zoom in, but you can see the steam rolling over there. There's a hot tub as well, so people are taking advantage of the hot tub at night. So, looks like they do have a few rafts and things back here to use, but it's just a really nice pool area. All right, and lastly in this little pool area is this Airstream. This Airstream, actually they said it's like a, a bar usually that serves drinks. Just a quick look at the grounds here. Here's where you pull in, and there's the front desk, and the place where they have the, the bar and the seating area. And then here are all the rooms and centrally located in the middle of the parking lot here is the pool area it's fenced off to where there's a ton of privacy there's no like glancing in there and seeing people so you have plenty of privacy in there and then here's all the rooms and for perspective if you're trying to figure out what room i'm in in comparison it's right up there behind the pole, 234. All right, time to do this final review, but where's my guest? Ah, oh, there you are. So good to see you. I was getting ready to tie things up here, both in the review and in my complimentary robe that's a little, a little too small. Either way, it's a great time here at the Wayback in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. 
Wayback Hotel here in Pigeon Forge is a Marriott uh, Hotel. I've had uh, pretty good experiences with Marriott's. This hotel in particular has been completely remodeled um, from what it was previously. The touches that you see around the room, the, the paint lines, the, um, the new decor. Let's talk about the decor for a second. Um, this calls back to another time, yesteryear, if you will. But there's not really a specific time period, I don't think, in mind. You may say 50s, um, 60s, something along those lines. But with the decor, I've seen hotels that try to get this retro feel that just go crazy and too crazy. And with this place, that's, that's not the case. So what I noticed here, it was a lot of subtle nods, but nothing hitting you over the head. These curtains, I absolutely love these curtains. There's no reason that you wouldn't have these curtains in a modern place as well. So they don't look super retro, but the pattern has that retro feel, which I absolutely love. The other little touches, like this old radio, it's clearly a newer radio that calls back to simpler time. So the little artwork and the little splashes of colors and um, patterns and things, I absolutely love this style. The property itself is beautiful, and apologies, I'm, I'm getting over a cold, so my voice sounds terrible. But um, the property itself is just gorgeous. Just looks like something out of a different time era, but not so much so that it just feel, doesn't feel modern, doesn't feel updated. It feels very updated. Um, cosmetically, there were some things with the paint um, and edging in, in various spots that were kind of surprising with something that's been recently updated. Uh, the floor is a... a like a linoleum, like a solid tile versus a, a carpet, which you know I know a lot of people like. Um, so let's go through a few things. The pool area, amazing. Um, the pool is not heated, so keep that in mind for colder temperatures. But they did have a hot tub. And after a certain point in the evening, they do restrict to um, 18 and up. Uh, so keep that in mind as well. This hotel, though, family friendly. Definitely has a more adult vibe to it. Um, many of the patrons here in the in the hotel were at the uh, Plumbo Bar. Were at the bar last night, and um, the whole bar seemed to be filled. Uh, so um, I'm not seeing maybe one family, maybe two. Um, you could with with a suite like this where you have the adjoining room. Absolutely, bring your family, and it would be no problem at all. But um, it definitely feels like there's a uh, an adult vibe here. So let's go through the room. Um, shower, obviously amazing. You saw it. The um, the bed. So if you like a, the bed a little bit more firm, you're going to love this mattress. I don't personally, but I still slept really well. So. It had a little bit of give to it, so it was enough to where I, I slept well, didn't have any problems. Plenty of pillows, which is, is a huge thing for me. A um, couple of, of, of things of note. Snacks. So I would recommend, if you're one who likes to hit the vending machines up or, or go to the hotel snack area, to make sure you bring some of your own. It's not something that they have here. They do have a menu. They do have food. Um, I believe the, the, it shut down the kitchen somewhere around 9, maybe. Um, you'll have to check those hours when you check in. Because I think sometimes it varies based on who's working. But um, they do have a menu and, and some, some food options. But if you're just wanting snack food, um, I would bring your own. Because they don't have those options available. No, no vending machines of, of any kind. Um, noise. So, being that this is a, a motel setup where the your door is goes right out to the outside, um, 
I don't know if it's a lack of sealing things up or insulating properly, but anytime anyone was coming by and having a conversation, it was almost like they were in the room with me. Luckily, with my room being at the end of the hall, I didn't have a ton of that. Every time someone would come up the stairs, they would um, be talking. I could almost immediately hear them. So um, just keep that in mind. So noise wasn't an issue for me sleeping. It's just you can hear external noise while you're, while you're in your room. And people could probably hear you as they're walking by your, your, your room. So let's talk about a few other things. Let's talk about price of this, of this place. Um, for me, coming in the off-season, it was one of the cheaper options available. So on a Sunday, you could get a room for around 50 bucks, which is crazy around here. It's not going to be every Sunday, um, but definitely in the off-season. For this Saturday here in um, late February, it is um, with taxes to have this room in the, in the next room over was it was about eighty, uh, about ninety bucks. So that price is is fantastic. So I would say this hotel, the price point, really, even during higher peak season, shouldn't push two hundred dollars. It's a very nice hotel, and I realize that prices of everything have gone up. If you're talking about like peak season. Right in the thick of things. If you got it up to 200 for the way prices are around here, that would probably be okay. Um, still seems like a lot for, for what it is you're getting, but I, I, would, I, would, I would say during peak 200 would be acceptable. I looked forward into March. This is just March. And I understand that's when people are starting to really come back because spring. But in late March, on a Friday night, it was pushing um, up in the 250, 275 range, which for me, for this hotel, I don't, I just don't know if it's worth it. So you have to make that determination yourself. Of course, prices do fluctuate and will normalize based on um, if if the place isn't getting booked well enough, but. Um, you have to determine that for yourself. The best time to book this or really any other hotel in the area is a Sunday through a Thursday night. If you're able to book any place in the Smokies Sunday through Thursday night, they uh, do not have a, a continental breakfast here. It is something that you would have to uh, pay for. They do give you a complimentary drink card if you're, if you're wanting a drink uh, down at the bar. Um, so it's something to, to keep in mind too, but um, not a lot of, 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 of additional amenities per se, things that, that I would normally be used to in a hotel. Um, so let's, let's think about what I say here again. So if I'm just coming down for a vacation and I'm just trying to find a place to stay, if I was right, I would, I would definitely stay here again. But I think, uh, I think that's about it. Guys, I, way back, it's a charming hotel, um, recently updated, and um, you get it for the right price. It, it's, it's definitely uh, somewhere that should be on your list. But that'll do it. This has been another video with Great Smoky Mountains. We hope you have a great day. God bless. Here, you out of the way in a second. <laughs> I'm not gonna pick it up this time. <laughs> okay. All right, I wanted to show you just how massive this shower is. Like, you could fit five, six people in here. I don't know if you if you would want. <laughs> I'm about to die. Okay. Alright, I'm trying.
Okay. Okay. All right, so I wanted to show you just how massive this shower is. Like, I'm standing in it. I could walk around. I could do laps in here if I wanted to. It's 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 massive. It's got this uh, rainfall uh, shower head. It's got a sprayer. So it's it's a really nice shower. I mean, the whole family could. <laughs> All right.